that's essentially it. And you're, you're also seeing now, this is a weird one. I was watching this uh, clip that I saw on YouTube of Tucker Carlson on Tim Pool's show talking about aliens. And he's talking about it from like a, like almost like a religious perspective. He's like, I think what they're essentially saying is that there's like, he was talking about good and evil. See if you can play, find the clip. He's talking about good and evil. And he's talking about it in relationship to UFOs and that they've always been here. So it's like, are you trying to say, like, what does he know? And can you say what you know? Like, why, are you, why do you think this? And are you saying that, like, a lot of the talk of, like, angels and devils in the Bible and good and evil, that it actually manifests itself in physical form and we don't know what it looks like because we haven't seen it, but when we do see it, we think it's a UFO. So we think it's from another planet, but it's really just evil or really just good. So it's angels and devils. Is that what you're saying? Because that's what you're saying, boy, that's a, that's a fucking freaky argument because that's one of the <laughs> weirdest arguments about the, the UFO thing is that we are essentially containers of souls and that what this planet is for, for these beings, is they mine souls here and that they develop souls here and that all of our motivations for existing and all of our ego and all of our ambition is really just a way to carry that soul as a vessel and that these that they then harvest well they i don't know i don't i don't understand what the argument is like that what sounds are they like getting that out sounds of like it? what would have been what should have been the sequel to matrix instead of what was right <laughs> or would have been a better version that that's how artificial intelligence is created that that's how life is created much how like a bee creates a bee colony they create a beehive inside the hive the queen lays the larva everyone knows how to do it and they all do it that way maybe the soul being in this biological vehicle and given this intelligence and this desire to achieve and to pursue technological innovations and all these different things that human beings do allows them to get to the point where we're at right now where they create artificial intelligence and what these UAPs and UFOs that are appearing in greater numbers and being reported by all these fighter jet pilots and all this, maybe what they're doing is they're witnessing the farmers who are coming by to watch their creation give birth to this thing which is them which and would which be is AI. Them, AI, which is an, an artificial, not artificial. The artificial is the wrong word. A new form of life, a life that is not based in biology and breeding through sperm and cells and eggs, but instead completely technological and able to self-reproduce and able to create its own version of itself that's far superior to the one that initially created it and that it would constantly do that. And that's what the universe is filled with, that what we are. We're just this fucking caterpillar that's making a cocoon. We don't even know what we're doing. And we're going to give birth to this butterfly. And that's what the whole human race is about. And that's the sinister aspect. That's what good and evil and all these different things playing off against each other is that we need this constant competition. We're always searching for utopia, searching for that meadow we can retire in. But it's like this strife and this struggle is what makes us continue to push society further and further until this thing is born. Listen to what Tucker says. It's my personal belief, based on a fair amount of evidence, that they're not aliens. They've always been here. Um, and, I, and I do think it's spiritual. That's, that's my view. So, and, and again, it's not provable, but based on, uh, on the evidence, I think. I'm with you. Absolutely. But, 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 well, if the U.S. government has, in fact, had contact, direct contact with these beings, whatever they are, I've already told you what I think they are, and has entered into some sort of agreement with them, which is which is the claim of, of informed people, um, I would say, whether they're right or wrong, I can't say conclusively. Yeah. But, but, yeah. but, wait, but wait. if that is true, I mean, it's a very, very, very heavy thing. Yeah. Are you, well, a, a lot of people say well, interdimensional well, beings. Right, I, I want to ask, are, you, are you angels and demons, or how would you well, describe these, these beings? You know, I, these are, again, I'm getting into the realm of conjecture, so I just want to say that flat out. Entity. But one thing I know for a dead certain fact, having seen it, is that um, there is good and evil that we are being acted upon at all times. And I think every person can feel that in himself. I mean, there are moments when you 
are moved to do things that are much better than you actually are, and that are also more evil and destructive than you actually are. You are subject to forces from outside yourself. That is absolutely true. Now, we can argue about what they are, but every person in the room, if he's reflective, will tell you, yes, I know what you're talking about. And so there are forces that are not human, that do exist in a spiritual realm of some kind, that we cannot see, and that when you think about it, sort of make you think we live in an ant farm. Yeah. <laughs> being, yeah. Right? And that's Absolutely. just, that is real. Yeah. Okay. When I, and there's that might be what's going on. Here, well, those are some patient freaking alien angels because they waited around, you know, 10,000 years from discovering a wheel mm. and, and domesticating the first plant to electricity well if you have artificial intelligence and if you have a life form that's a million years more advanced than us it's non-biological at that point you have all the time in the world and if you what gonna, is time at that you start right. bending time and and one of the primary theories about how life got started on earth is panspermia which is that amino acids and these various uh, building blocks of life come in in asteroids and they slam into the earth and that somehow or another over the course of millions and millions of years of chemical interactions, of billions of years, you have life, single cell, complex life, and then that life advances to the point where it creates a new version of life. And if that is just how it works everywhere, we say, oh my God, that takes so much time. But does it? Because think about how much time it takes to make a fucking planet. Think about how much time it takes for all that matter to coalesce and to, to, to gel up into this fucking ball. And then for the temperature to stabilize, because it has a moon around it that's, you know, one quarter the size of the planet itself. And everything is kind of stable and it gets to the point where biological life can exist. And then it starts fucking making shit and make better and better and better. And then start arguing with shit about climate change and gender pronouns and all this stupid shit. While it's the real thing it's doing is forcing you to get that motherfucker online. Right. Get Get that new life form online. That's what you really do, stupid. 